I'm taking a break, we are detecting in this beach in France and so far the result is almost disastrous. Both me and Nora, we only basically found trash. Someone has detected this beach underwater before because I also saw some underwater holes and kept only the coins and left all the trash on the bottom because we found metal detecting holes we found metal detecting holes and trash just floating aluminum just floating right under the surface so someone just picked the right uh, items like the coins and whatever else there was and then left all the trash i'm walking here to the to the trash bin because my science pocket is full it's full literally filled of trash you will see now how much there is. Huh? Oui, oui, oui. Beaucoup de poubelles. Triste. Very sad. Okay, yeah. bah, wonderful job. <laughs> Merci, thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Hein? I'm... <laughs> A guy just came to thank me because he saw me uh, taking all the rubbish out of the sea. Look at the amount of trash that there was here. It's incredible. People must be much more polite. Behave well on the beach. Don't throw this stuff in the water. It's not gonna disappear by magic. It's gonna stay there. And someone can cut his feet. This was all out of the sand. Someone could cut his feet on this stuff. It's really dangerous. So one ring, this one that broke two coins and one ring maybe it's gold uh, this uh, <laughs> i just realized that this may be really really well be gold <laughs> white gold because it's so heavy i didn't realize it in the water before <laughs> i think that it's gold if you find an old ring and you are on a beach and you want to clean it just like this and it, it will become so shiny again see just scratch it on the sand remember to go to check the merch wear the gold to find the gold and not only to find the gold if you don't look for gold you can just buy these kind of uh, towels uh, sweaters uh, t-shirts just to look cool you certainly catch the attention of who's around you and look so cool The sand cleaned it and then I will rinse it in the water. I think that this, um, this might be white, uh, white gold or silver, like a nine carats. Nora! Nora! <laughs> I'm wondering where you are. How's going? Ooh! What is this? I don't know, I think that is white gold. Ooh. I th I thought that it was uh, just a junk ring, but then I, I cleaned it in the sand. 925. 925? Yeah. Really? No, so it's silver. The day after, we moved to another spot, hoping for better results. This is the spot we are gonna detect today. It's a really nice beach, looking promising. Uh, small, but uh, very old. Uh, it's been a swimming beach for at least 50 or 60 years, maybe more. So let's go to check out the secrets of this beautiful beach. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> this is how I put my belt on. Why? Because it's so heavy, it's like <laughs> almost 20 kilos of lead. Oh my I, god. I just put it on like this. <laughs> wow. I like your method. Okay. <laughs> Done. I just told Nora's vet that she's improved my life so much because before I was wearing the normal nylon belt and then she told me that the rubber belt would grip on the wetsuit and not 
uh, yeah. jump up and down when, when you are swimming and this improved my life so much. Yeah, so much better guys. Rubber weight belt over nylon. You should all hang out with Nora's vet, she's so cool. <laughs> Where's your detector? You mean my cerca metalli? Your yes. cerca metalli? My cerca metalli is here. My very long cerca metalli. It's at least twice the size of any average other metal detector. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> We're changing beach. We just finished diving in the very promising beach. We didn't really deliver many of the promises that we were uh, hoping for it. Exactly. Except from Nora. Nora found some interesting stuff. You should go to check out her video about today to find out what she found. But now we are heading um, to two other beaches smaller and uh, maybe even more interesting than this one. Anyway, we were in a really beautiful place. But now we are changing and going somewhere else. So, see you there. We arrived to the second beach, but it just started a downpour. It's crazy, there's so much rain. Luckily, we are in the car. Um, if we were in the water, it was okay. But since we, we are not in the water yet, we were just in the car. Uh, we are <laughs> lucky to be in the car during this transfer. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe we can eat something. I have snacks. Cool. Maybe we can eat something, drink, and wait for the storm to uh, fade a bit, and then we can go back in the water. Cashews. Nice. The people are running away from the beach. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for the beach. We're waiting for the rain to fade a bit, so we can both go back. And look at here, there is some pate. Thunders outside and then pate inside. <laughs> <laughs> Pate or pate? Cheers. <laughs> All right, we waited the rain out. Now the weather looks good again, and we're ready to go back in this new beach. It doesn't look like there is a lot of uh, detecting area because as soon as the algae begin we can't detect anymore because the bottom is very hard but at least we have a few meters um, from the shoreline to the algae this is a very famous beach also so many people come here from so many years I'm already out of the water. There was not much here at all, but I found a bracelet. Nora is still in the water down there. This beach looked very promising, but the finds on the bottom were very scarce. After checking the real uh, condition of the bottom, we didn't find much stuff, at least I didn't, uh, except from a bracelet, which is down here and I will show you soon. Nora is still in the water, she's a tough girl, she's not giving up on this beach, but I did already also because it's very cold. And uh, <laughs> towels, t-shirts, uh, sweaters, where the gold to find the gold. And if you don't find the gold, you are not someone looking for gold, you will anyway look very cool. It happens to me all the time when I wear uh, my clothes. <laughs> No, this tower is really cool actually and it can dry you very well. Now I'll show you what I found. In the last two days, I put the finds here. In the last two days, um, it was mainly uh, cleaning the sea from the trash because most of the finds were trash. I just found here this bracelet, which uh, may be silver, maybe not. Uh, I will tell you later when I clean it. And then I found uh, two of these three fishing sinkers one costume ring 
and one silver ring yesterday. These are the good finds for uh, two days and a few euro coins. As you can see, not really much. Ha, I, I think that Nora just finished. She's giving up two. Did you get something interesting? One earring. One earring, I found this. Ooh, that looks old. A bracelet, maybe silver. Yeah. Where was that one? Uh, more or less right where you're standing now. <laughs> These two days, the last two days, we, we mostly cleaned the sea. We must find some better spot, I think. Yeah. When we will find a lot of gold, we know that we found the right spot. <laughs> it was not these places until now. Let me check if this is silver or not. Yeah, probably silver. It's starting to shine. So I would say that this and the silver ring, which is up there, are definitely the two best finds for these two days of metal detecting. It was very tough um, going in places which had already been totally cleaned up by some other metal detectors which didn't leave much behind rather than trash. Uh, if you go metal detecting, please take home the trash, throw it away, remove it from the environment so that you make a good thing and don't leave a situation as we found uh, um, in the places where we have been. And go to check Nora's finds. Check them out. Because I think that she found something cooler than me as usual. <laughs>